Hi everyone. So one common question I see VR newcomers sometimes uh, asking in uh, forums and Reddit threads is uh, what kind of internet speed do you need uh, for Oculus Airlink? And um, today I'm going to show you that uh, internet speed really doesn't matter for Airlink and in, in fact you don't need any internet at all. At all. So let us get started. Uh, so this here is uh, my dedicated router for Oculus Airlink and the uh, white cable is connected to my uh, main router provided by the ISP and uh, the black cable as you can see is connected to my uh, PC. So I'm now going to remove the white Ethernet cable from the dedicated router and uh, this will mean that uh, the router will still have the configured uh, Wi-Fi networks it's just that uh, there will be no internet connection and uh, I'll show it to you uh, in my PC. So now I'm at my desktop uh, and you can see that the oculus.com uh, website uh, isn't uh, loading properly anymore. And uh, even though I'm uh, connected to my local network, it shows that uh, there is no internet. So now I'm in my Oculus Quest 2 home environment and um, you can see from the Wi-Fi icon that uh, it already shows that uh, there's no internet. But I'm still connected to the uh, 5 gigahertz uh, Wi-Fi created by the TP-Link uh, router. It's just that it doesn't have any, any internet. But uh, that doesn't uh, stop my PC and the headset uh, from connecting to the same local network and uh, interacting with, with each other. So, yeah, you can clearly see that uh, a link is uh, available. So let us uh, launch it. Aha, uh -huh. again, no internet but totally fine, everything's running. I guess if I go to explore, yeah, no internet. But uh, if I want to play, I should be able to do it. So let's test with uh, Half-Life Alex and see how it goes. So as I launched uh, Half-Life Alex, um, Steam is complaining that it's unable to sync my local files for Half-Life Alex, but um, that's okay, and uh, I'm just gonna gonna ignore it and press uh, play game. So now I'm uh, back at uh, Half-Life Alex, and um, you can see that. Uh, it is. It did indeed load it properly, and uh, I don't see um, any reason why why it shouldn't work uh, from here on. So let us let us quickly move around a bit in the game and uh, uh, verify that everything indeed uh, works uh, works properly. So loading. Yep, and here I am. So. Jumping around a bit and uh, moving, yeah, works. So there seems to be uh, no lag, anything. Every everything is working uh, properly. And uh, just to prove you one more time that I haven't uh, edited anything uh, together here, here's my recording tool available uh, with the game open. And uh, here you can see that there is indeed no internet for this gameplay. This means that if the play area in your house is uh, far from the main router and you cannot get any internet there, you could still buy a relatively cheap router and uh, enjoy some wireless PC VR gaming essentially anywhere. Uh, if you're interested, you can find the router that I am personally using along with the full step-by-step -step, uh, setup video in the video description below. Okay, that's it from me. I'll see you in another video and goodbye.